Okay, so we're going to do something slightly different with our man in the coracle. Instead of using masks, we're going to cut him out. So we're going to put a new canvas in, 1920 by 1080, which will be the size of our uh, frame in the video. And then we're going to file, open as layers again, and then we're going to open our, our coracles. Okay, there he is, just going to just move that slightly. Okay, fab. Right, so there's a few tools that we can use to cut out. Um, I've been using the paths tool and then kind of creating a selection from the paths. Uh, you can't really select c color in particular here because obviously we're using black and white so there's nothing really that makes him in particular stands out so it is a case of drawing around him. Okay so remember use your space bar to move around. If you're using your mouse then it's a case of click and then move and then you can drag as well by keeping your left mouse button down. I can move and then I can move again and then click. But now I've kept my left mouse button down and I'm dragging. And that just gives me a little curve. And then I can drag and click. And again on here, I'm going to keep that left mouse there you go and then I'm going to drag out before I release and then I can click again down here and then I'll sort of click down here click here I'm going to drag a bit there click here and drag a bit click here and drag a bit and here this time I'm going to just go around the wall just a little bit give it a little bit of extra space there and then I just keep clicking. Hey, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so I'm going to move over to here. I'm just going to and I'm going to make a selection from the path. And now you can see that around my selection is now changed into this kind of moving little ants going around our man there. Okay, you can see what's selected by what is white over here in the picture. If I press this button here, this inverts the selection and then it swaps. So now you've got all of the background selected. But what we want is our man in a coracle. Okay, so I can right click. I can go to edit and then I can copy and then I can do again go edit and paste and then over here you can see that it comes up as a floating selection kind of a pasted layer and all then you need to do with this one is you right click again and then you just click on this one to new layer so now when we come back down again, you can see we've actually got this pasted layer in here now. And what we've got, if I turn off the visibility, we've got a white background and I will take that one off as well. And so what you've got is you have your man in the coracle and he has now been completely and utterly cut out from the rest of the photograph. And now what we can do with this is we can save it. And we're going to export it as 
and we're going to make sure we export it as a, a PNG. And the reason that we do that is because if you export it as a JPEG, the JPEG will not save the alpha layer, which is your kind of invisible layer. It will not contain that information and it will fill it in with, with white, with a background. We don't want that because when we bring it into our video editing app, the video editing app, it needs to be able to understand that invisible layer. Now you might have noticed that we've got some quite hard lines that we've cut out from our man here. It's quite sharp. Now we can change that. If we go back to our history here and we go to the point whereby we've got our selection here, if you right click go to select and then go to feather you can make sure that you feather the image I've actually got 10 in there and so what will happen now is that the line round here won't be so sharp when we come to edit copy edit paste and then to new layer. Now you can see that, that edge has is a little bit less defined. It's a little bit fuzzier. Have a look. So now we'll do another save. Export as. And then I'll put this one in as our feathered. Okay. So we'll come out of GIMP and we'll go into, I'm using Premiere. So we'll come out of GIMP and now we'll go into the video editor and you can see how we can use this cutout image. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. This is what we did with our masks. I float away from today's worries in a coracle on a sea of clouds cradled in my thoughts. Okay, so at this point we want to be able to bring our cutout coracle so that it can float away and we can kind of we can do stuff with it independently of its background so I just want to show you so this if we save this as a JPEG this is what I was trying to explain to you this is how it would have saved well when I bring it in have a look over here you can see what happens yes you see it comes and it saves with a white background so we don't want that so JPEGs are no good um, so this is us saving it as an alpha um, so this is us saving it with kind of quite hard cut out lines, you can see. And this is us cutting it out kind of with the feather. I'll just drag this in here as well. So we've got kind of little less harsh lines. Perhaps down here it kind of looks as though it's still kind of floating away. All right, so at this particular point we've got our man in here. As you can see, there's a slight bit of movement in here. So what we need to do is we just need to move this. And we're just going to use and go into our controls. I'm just going to move that down slightly so that it fits in with the other one behind it. So now we can put in a couple of keyframes in here. Now we can, we can get him to move over here somewhere. Okay. 
And then what we can do is just to make this a little bit more interesting, we can put in um, a warp. Okay, let's see what he looks like now. In my soul. The world is far away. The tree of life. So he just floats away and gradually just starts to disappear. And that's an example of how you can use your cut out, things cut out from your photographs, you can be as creative as you want to be with your videos.